Now I am going to talk about the morphology in the diabetes, what happened in the different organs due to the diabetes. First of all, I will talk about the pancreas, what happened in the pancreas. Number of the islet cells as well as the size of the islet cells decreases as it happens in the type 1 diabetes. There is a lymphocytic infiltration of the T cells as it happens in the type 1 diabetes. There is also subtle reduction in the islet cell masses because of the destruction of the beta cells. The number and the size of the islet cell increases when the number and size of islet cell increases it increases in non-diabetic newborns of the diabetic mothers in which the fetal, cell, fetal islet cells undergo the hyperplasia in response to the maternal hyperglycemia what happened in the macrovascular disease basically macrovascular disease is the disease of the aorta and the large and the medium sized arteries it accelerates the atherosclerosis. It results in the MI due to the atherosclerosis of the coronary arteries, gangrene of the lower extremities, which result in skin gangrene, which results in the lower extremities amputation. It also results in the kidney damage because of the renal arteries atherosclerosis. What is hyaline atherosclerosis? And what happened due to the hyaline atherosclerosis? Hyaline atherosclerosis is basically the amorphous hyaline thickening of the wall of the arterioles which result in the narrowing of the lumen, which result in the damage of the wall plus hypertension. What happened in the microvascular disease? Due to the microvascular disease, nephropathy, neuropathy as well as the retinopathy happens. What happened in the microvascular disease? Microvascular disease basically divided into two parts, the vascular portion and the non-vascular portion. When I talk about the vascular portion, it means the diffuse thickening of the basement membrane of the capillaries of the skin, the skeletal muscle, the retina, the renal glomerula, and the renal medulla. And when I talk about the non-vascular disease, it's a diffuse thickening of the tubules, the Bowman capsule, the placenta, and the peripheral nerve. What happened? due to the diffuse thickening the diabetic capillaries becomes more leaky to the plasma proteins due to which nephropathy retinopathy and neuropathy results what happened in the nephropathy in nephropathy three types of lesions take place the one is the glomerular lesion the renal vascular lesions and the pyelonephritis its pathogenesis include the capillary, glomerular capillary basement membrane thickening, diffuse mesangial sclerosis, nodular glomerulosclerosis. What happened in the glom glomerular capillary basement membrane thickening? It's just a thickening of the basement membrane of the glomerulus. For example, these are the endothelial cells and it's it's and this is its basement membrane just thickening of the basement membrane happens in the glomerular capillary basement membrane thickening the other thing which is important related to the glomerular capillary basement membrane thickening it starts to happening after the two years of development of the type 1 diabetes and five years after the type 2 diabetes it's not happened along alone it's happened along with the mesangial widening and the tubular basement membrane thickening not only the glomerulus but also the tubular basement membrane thickening also the mesangium which is present between the endothelial cells also res results in the widening number second pathology includes the diffuse mesangial sclerosis what happened in the diffuse mesangial sclerosis? Diffuse increase in the mesangial matrix. Mesangial cells start to proliferate. The glomerular basement membrane thickening. Mesangial matrix become positive for the periodic acid shift stain. Because of all this happening, expansion of mesangial areas results, which gave the mesangial matrix nodular appearance and it results in the protein urea why the protein urea occurs for example these are these are the endothelial cells 
and in the center the mesangium is present when the whole mesangium is starts to increase and starts to increase it causes the endothelial cells to separate more the fenestration present between the endothelial cells these are the fenestration spaces between the endothelial cells starts to increase as a result the mesangial protein starts to leak out as well as the plasma protein starts to leak out during the filtration because of this increased fenestration between the endothelial cells protein urea happens now i am going to talk about nodular glomerular sclerosis what happens in the nodular glomerular sclerosis it's just same of the diffuse mesangial sclerosis but there are some differences previously it was known as intercapillary glomerular sclerosis or the kemal wilson's disease the same thing happens it mesangial matrix become positive for the periodic acid shift stains there are also the glomerular lesions are present which are oval and the spherical and laminate laminated and the present are the periphery of the glomerulus there is also cap fibrin caps and the capsular drops are also present now i am going to talk about what happened in the last category nodular glomerular sclerosis this is the whole bowman capsule in which the tuft of the glomerulus is present there these are the endothelial cells and this is the mesangium first of all the all things happen which is which was happened in the diffuse mesangial sclerosis in the nodular glomerular sclerosis there will be a diffuse mesangial matrix increase in the mesangial matrix increase in the mesangial cells as well as the glomerular basement membrane thickening the what additional things happen this mesangial matrix starts to increase and gives the nodular appearance as it was happened in the nodular uh, as it happens in the mesangial sclerosis next step which is the part of the nodular glomerular sclerosis especially the feature special feature of the nodular glomerular sclerosis these mesangium increased mesangium starts to break down means what happened mesangio lysis mesangio lysis happened the next step when the mesangio lysis this mesangium starts to means the breakdown into this this type of structure this becomes continuous with the endothelial cell these are the endothelial cells so these are these mesangium form the mat, uh, stalks first there will be a increase in the mesangial matrix increase in the mesangial cells the glomerular basement membrane thickening after that mesangial lysis and stalk formation and this is also the glomerular appearance when this nodular appearance is continued these nodules this nodule and this nodule starts to join when this nodule starts to join it compress the lumen it compress the capillary lumen compress start compressing capillary lumen when they start the compressing the capillary lumen the process of inflammation starts when there is a pro process of inflammation starts it results in the deposition of fibrin molecules when there is a deposition of the fibrin molecule it adhere the endothelial cells to this bowman capsule this this endothelial cell due to the fibrin deposition this combining ho jayegi because of this combining this is known as capsular drop these are the fibrin caps and this adherence of the endothelial cells with the bowman capsule is known as capsular drop ultimate results ischemia 
tubular atrophy and interstitial fibrosis. Now, what is pyelonephritis? Pyelonephritis is the acute or the chronic inflammation of the kidney which starts to begin in the interstitial tissue then affects the tubules. What pattern we can see in the pyelonephritis necrotizing papillitis means the papillary necrosis. It's the most common in the diabetic necrotizing papillitis. The other pathies include the retinopathy which results in the glaucoma. What is glaucoma? Diabetic induced hyperglycemia leads to the acquired opacification of the lens is known as cataract. And it's further classified into pre-proliferative diabetic retinopathy and the proliferative diabetic retinopathy. What is diabetic neuropathy? Because of diabetic neuropathy, patients unable to feel the peripheral sensations, which results in the injuries, and injuries results in amputations.